welcome to another vlog today. Oh, I'm feeling good. I'm feeling good. I um, I hope you're all well. I hope you've had a lovely, lovely couple of weeks. It's been a little while since I've put a vlog up, I think. Oh, maybe. Oh, no, yeah, because I did like an unboxing video in between. So, yeah, this has been the first vlog in a little while. Um, so, welcome back to the normal scheduled programming. I um, went away to Cornwall for a little while, which was incredible. It was genuinely like the best time I've ever had um, going there because I've been quite a few times in the last year and a half. My partner Tommy, his parents live over there, so we go quite often, um, often for how far it is, uh, for roughly every three to four months. So this time though, it just felt really different. I think we were in this, um, like a Tommy's mum, cleans airbnb houses and one of the people that she cleans for offered their house while they were on holiday so we was, we all sort of felt like we were on holiday which was quite nice um because normally we just stay at tommy's parents house which is lovely as well but this was like much bigger had a lot more room and it had two dogs in it as well which was great uh so we got to look after those i'll put some pictures up now and some video from the time away because I didn't vlog it because I just wanted to relax. I didn't I didn't even take my laptop. I didn't do anything. While I was there, it was great. Apart from a lot of crosswords. I did a lot of crosswords. Um, but yeah, now we are back and I have a couple of things I wanted to show you because in the last vlog, I showed you photos of some uh, two pairs of jeans that I had ordered on Vinted and they were JW Anderson jeans. Um, and they've arrived and I love them. They're fantastic. So the first pair, which I showed you the photos of, but obviously it's way better showing you in person, are this classic blue pair. So up the top, on the back, we've got the anchor motif on the pocket and the JW Anson big leather logo there. And then they're really just a pair of blue um, straight leg jeans with a slight flare at the bottom. And I have had to turn them up because they are quite long on me, but they've also got this bleached detailing with the JW Anderson just at the bottom. It's quite small. Um, it's not too in your face, but also not many people know the brand that well. So it kind of works for me because it's not too showy. So we've got those. And then the other pair I got on Vinted from the same seller, by the way, um, is basically the jean version of my skirt that I also got on Vinted. So it has this raw hem. I'm not usually crazy about raw hems, but it works in this sense. The anchor motif on the back, the um, leather tab at the top, and then nothing at the bottom except this like extra hemline. So it's like a frayed hemline and then the bottom isn't frayed. Um, again, I do have to put a turn up in these, but it makes them sit quite nicely, so I actually don't mind it. And just for reference, I thought I'd bring my skirt out, which I also got a vintage from a different seller, just to show you how it's the same as the jeans. So, same motif, and then it's got the frayed hem like the jeans do, and then the JW Anderson around the bottom. And the way this skirt falls, you guys have been loving this over on Instagram, so do go follow me over there. Um, and you can see how I've been styling the jeans because I will put some pictures up now. I'm not going to try them on just yet, but I will put some pictures up of how I've been styling these two pairs of jeans because I've really, really been enjoying it. Um, it might sound silly, but jeans I actually don't wear very often. So when I do wear them, I feel quite boring. I am not a jeans and t-shirt girl. I like things to be interesting. I like to keep things layered. I like to do something a little bit different with my outfits. So jeans and a t-shirt on its own is quite difficult for me, but the beige ones in Cornwall I just wore with my drop dead t-shirt and my Solomons and my Loewe bag. And it was a very, very, very basic outfit for me. I felt quite boring in it, but at the same time, each piece really spoke for itself. So I kind of justified it. And then I styled the blue jeans yesterday with a dress over the top and then this t-shirt over the top with my Solomons and it looked really, really cool, I thought. So um, that was great. So yeah, loving those. And then another new in box I got sent. This is a PR gift. Um, I work alongside Community Scene. They sometimes send things out to me to make content with. None of it's paid. It's just um, user-generated content. And they sent out the new Bourgeois 
which is a brand I used to love when I was a teenager and I kind of forgot about. The new Bourjois Mixed Lip Sorbet Tinted Balm. Healthy Mixed Lip Sor Sorbet Tinted Balm. Um, I mean, how me does that sound, first of all? A Sorbet Tinted Balm. You guys know I'm obsessed with lip balms, these are just the ones next to me, let alone everywhere else. I, ge I genuinely don't know how many lip balms I have on the go at any one point, but it's like probably getting on for 15. Um, I love lip balms <laughs> and tinted lip balms are my favorite. So these are the new shades um, and I need to film some content with this today, hopefully, today, over today and tomorrow. But they sent out the two contour edition lip liners in nude wave and cotton candy i love a lip liner i quite often just put a lip liner on and then a, a clear balm over the top so the fact that these will go really nicely with the new tinted lip balms is great so it's great to have two lip liners there that they've sent and then they've sent three of the five shades and luckily they sent me the three i would have chosen because the two they haven't sent me is this really hot pink and this uh sort of classic red which i probably wouldn't wear but the ones they have sent me and this is the one i'm most excited about is pea nude butter instead of peanut butter and yeah these are the healthy mix lip sorbets they're vegan cruelty free clean makeup from bourgeois and they come in these bullets which i love i find these so easy to apply in like the oval shape um, so you can kind of see there. I'm not going to swatch these just yet because I need to film with them today, but head over to my Instagram if you don't follow me there already, at Rachel Von Hatley, and you can see the reel that I'm going to be making for these. Um, so yeah, this is in pea nude butter. That one I think I'm going to love. I think that's going to be my favourite. The next one is this like, not so hot pink like the last one. It's like a poppy pink, I guess. This is called Scoop Pink. I don't know. There's no other way of telling you that than showing you scoop pink. Um, they all have this incredible, like, really strong, sweet raspberry scent as well. It really smells like a raspberry sorbet. It kind of smells like being on holiday in Italy or something. Like, yeah, it, make, it make, kind of makes me hungry. Um, this is like a really, really nice raspberry colour. So this one I definitely think I can get away with but that's probably as bright as i'll go to be honest definitely more of a nude lip girl and then this one's a nice corally orange color this is coral and cream instead of cookies and cream i imagine and yeah we just got a really nice classic orange orange lips look a bit funny on me with my skin color because i'm so pale for some reason orange just is weird on my face um ironic because of my hair but yeah so i'll see how this one looks i'll obviously give it a go but i'll probably wear the other two more and definitely the lip liners so yeah so a huge thank you to bourgeois and community scene for sending those out to me can't wait to film the content today um and yeah with that those are the new things i wanted to show you and now i'm going to get on with the day i have a call in less than 45 minutes um with I think I can say with Vinted. Um, I'm actually doing a project aside from the monthly work that I've been doing, which is super exciting. Very, very excited to do that. Um, so yeah, then after that, I need to film this bourgeois stuff. So I think I'm gonna go out and about for that one. I think I'm gonna film it on the go. And then I wanna do, um, well, then I've actually just got to go to work work. I've got nannying this afternoon and this evening. So yeah, that's the day, let's crack on. Hi guys, so it's a little bit later on now, I'm feeling disheveled <laughs> because um, I've just got back from going out to film the reel for the bourgeois lip balms. Um, I don't have them on right now, I took them off because my lips like had had three different shades on and I just needed them off. Um, but yeah, really recommend them, they were really really nice and easy to put on, especially while filming a reel outside in quite windy conditions. I had to end up go de going down an alleyway but you'll see the reel on my Instagram soon. Um, do go follow me on Instagram if you haven't already but yeah 
it was just it was one of those influences in the wild moments where i was just like oh my god the people walking by must think i'm insane because i went and got like strawberry ice cream in a tub down on the seafront to like be in line with the sorbet theme and I, I won't say any more. Just go watch the Instagram reel that I did. But yeah, honestly, I, it was one of those moments where I was just like, what am I doing? Uh, <laughs> but yeah, I think now I'm going to just take all my makeup off. Because I filmed the Kylie Jenner makeup video this morning. And just, I've got to leave for work in 40 minutes. <sighs> I just want to sit down and chill out. Um, so yeah, so I think I'm going to do that. And then... Oh god, wow, well, so tired. Been up since quite early, um, since seven. Which actually is a line for me, to be honest. Um, but yeah, it was just really funny. Um It's just been a very productive morning. Oh, the vintage phone call went really, really well, video call went really well. So I've got a lot to film tomorrow. It's a scripted video, but it's gonna be featuring on their TikTok, so I'm over the moon. I'm really over the moon about it to be featured on their TikTok is a big deal. Um, so yeah, means a lot. Um, so yeah, I think I am just gonna go and take my makeup off and chill for a bit before work. And then I will catch up with you guys at some other point where I'm doing something way more interesting than this. <laughs> Hello everybody, for once, I feel like I'm not giving you an insane jump scare <laughs> although i don't know this this lighting's not I ideal but um i thought i would quickly jump on camera because actually <laughs> zero lighting that's good um i thought i would quickly jump on camera because i am getting ready to go out with tommy um it is bank holiday monday and i have been told that i need to get ready and meet him at Brighton Town Hall for 7.30. But I've done that classic thing that I always do, which is um, give myself two hours to get my hair, makeup and outfit done. And I've gotten ready in 20 minutes. Like I do it every time. I don't know why I always think that I take ages to get ready because I just, I don't. I just, don't i've just done like i started getting ready at 20 past five it's now 5 48 and all i've got to do is just put my outfit on i've picked it out it's ready um so it's just very annoying because now i've got loads of time <laughs> but i thought it at least means that i can come on camera and sort of explain what's happening this week so this will be a very all over the place vlog and i do apologize but i wanted to also catch you up on some bits so here's some things that have happened this week that i didn't vlog one went to an outdoor cinema where me and my friends and tommy watched twilight which was so cool the first twilight movie um we watched it outside it was, obviously was not my first time watching the movie but it was my friend lucy's first time watching it so that was super super fun to see her reaction to the movie um and then secondly we fostered a guinea pig called agnes um she actually went home today but we were just looking after her while her parents were at a festival um so here's some gorgeous photos of agnes and yeah then we had milo over the weekend it was absolutely beautiful i worked saturday and sunday which was less beautiful i also had work this morning but that was beautiful because it was nannying um so i was very happy and i took the little boy that i look after um his sisters away on holiday with the mum but the little boy i took him out for the day and it was wonderful we had such a lovely day so that brings us up till now and i've just had like a two hour sit down with myself drank tea um two teas and watched some youtube read a magazine um and now yeah start got ready <laughs> just way too quickly and thought i would film but i wanted to tell you about what's happening this week so this week i it is my birthday it's going to be my birthday on thursday and i have no idea what we are doing tommy has planned something this week no idea what it is um 
there's multiple things happening so it starts with today so i literally cannot get any lighting that looks fairly decent um it starts with today how is that it starts with today and it's bank holiday monday it's the 26th of august and um yeah he's just told me to meet me to meet him at brighton town hall for 7 30. i have no idea what's happening I did have some suspicions of what was happening tonight, but all of them have kind of been blown out of the water by something or other. So now I'm just back to not knowing. And I'm I'm not somebody that tries to ruin people's surprises. Like if somebody, I do find surprises a little bit nerve wracking because I really like plans. But as long as you give me a time and an idea of what outfit I need to wear, then I don't mind too much. Um, but I hate it if I don't know anything that's difficult for me. Um, but like I say, Tommy has told me a time and he said that I needed to wear like a going out outfit, but not too dressy. Um, but then he also said that it's going to be really anticlimactic. And I was like, what does that mean? Like, why would you do something anticlimactic? I'm very confused. So then I thought, oh, maybe it's the cinema. Um, like maybe he's going to take me to the cinema because, you know, we can go to the cinema. Yeah, I was like, you know, we can go to the cinema at any time. So it's not necessarily a birthday thing. So maybe that's what he meant. Um, because we've really been wanting to go and see the movie Twisters. So it might be that. Then I thought, ah, oh, is he doing a surprise party like last year? Um, although that wasn't a surprise. I actually did set that up, but he made it like a thousand times better than I could ever have imagined. Um, and we ended up doing like emo karaoke. It was incredible. Um, so then I thought it might be that, but then I was like, oh, I don't know. And where we did that at a place called Pipeline is near Brighton Town Hall. So maybe it is that. Then I thought maybe it was dinner, but he told me that it's not dinner. So now I'm out of options. And I don't like guessing because I really, really don't like ruining people's surprises. Like... I think when somebody is putting enough effort in to surprise you, I think it is just out of respect, nice to not try and ruin the surprise or guess what's going on. And he does keep asking me like, oh, have you guessed what we're doing? Have you guessed what we're doing? Like even for the rest of the week, but I'm trying not to guess. So the answer's no. But all I do know is tomorrow we've got, I've got the day off work. He's working until 12. And then I don't know what's happening in the afternoon, but I do know that in the evening we're taking tofu to my mum and dad's house and staying the night there and then wednesday morning we have to get up at 3 a.m and we're not coming back until friday night so i don't know what's happening then i'm assuming we're going away somewhere if we're staying away for two nights but i don't know what it is or where it is um for context tommy doesn't have a passport that i'm aware of or he didn't this entire time he may have got one in this time that i haven't um known about but tommy didn't have a passport when i met him <laughs> and hasn't for the year and a half we've been together and then also tommy has never been on a plane at all he's never left the uk so if we are going away and it's outside of the uk that'll be hilarious because i'll be there for his first time on a plane um which would be kind of fun i would love that 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 going on a plane could be my entire birthday present just watching him that's the present whether we go anywhere or not if we just go up and come back down again that would actually be hilarious so i'd quite like that but um what else yeah then i thought oh maybe it's within the uk are we driving somewhere are we getting a coach somewhere i don't know the bottom line is guys i don't know and you will find out by the end of this vlog i imagine or maybe it will be in another vlog i really don't know when to end this one because in a funny way i don't want to film my birthday week because i just want to enjoy it and it just be me and tommy but my birthday is actually on thursday which will be while we're in this mysterious unknown place um so yeah but i thought i would at least catch you up on the vlogs but there's not much else to report and i haven't really been going out and doing fun stuff because i've worked the last eight days in a row so yeah so i think i'm gonna leave the vlog here i think i'm gonna sign off here 
and in the next vlog you will find out what happened for my birthday and I will share photos if I can and videos and I will give you the whole lowdown on what the surprises were. Um, yeah, I'm very excited. Okay guys, thank you so much for watching. Sorry, this has been a very chatty one, but thank you so much for watching. Really, really appreciate it. Give it a like if you enjoyed it. Please subscribe if you want to see more videos from me. Go back and watch all my other ones. Go and follow me on Instagram at Rachel Hatley, and I will see you in the next one for the birthday bonanza.